Hello friends, today I would like to introduce a very unique Sonoran Desert pollinator. The Mexican long-tongued bat, also called Paula's long-tongued bat. These funky creatures live in many different subterranean ecosystems, meaning that they live above water. You can find these bats in forests, caves, and deserts, like the Sonoran Desert. No surprise that these Mexican long-tongued bats can be found all over Mexico, but we also see them in places like Southern California, Southern Arizona, and Southern Texas. Paula's bats eat a varying diet, like nectar, cactus fruits, and sometimes bugs. Nectar is a sugary liquid produced by plants, kind of like nature's Kool-Aid. This is a very small creature, only weighing about 10 to 20 grams, less than a AA battery, which is 24 grams, less than a light bulb, which is 34 grams, but about the same as a CD, weighing about 15 grams. The long-tongued bat has a long list of predators, including owls, desert cats, desert snakes, and various birds. However, human impact has also posed many threats to these bats. This includes things like housing and urban development, mining, ranching, and forest fires. These fearless creatures have adopted over time to be nocturnal, meaning that they are only awake at night to avoid some of these dangers. Paula's bat has a twin, the lesser long-nosed bat. These two look extremely similar, but can be told apart by their snouts and tails. The Mexican long-tongued bat has a much longer nose and a very small, non-visible tail. We hope you learned something new. Thanks for joining.